All right, thank you, Ben. The death of a Macomb County woman now a homicide investigation. This morning, state police were called out to the Springfield Mobile Home Park in Bruce Township. Troopers say someone called 911 to report a 62 year old woman was found dead. Coco McAvoy there live with new information about the investigation. Coco. Yes, good evening. This scene has been active for hours. You can see Michigan State Police is still out here. There's also still caution tape around the home. Family has identified the victim as Linda Castillo. Now, we know police has made an arrest in this case. They're not saying who they arrested, but neighbors say they saw Castillo's son get taken into custody today. It's been a day of digging for Michigan State Police and a day of mourning for the neighbors who loved Linda Castillo. If she was outside, she would talk to you. You know, hi, how are you? Very friendly lady. It's just really heartbreaking. The investigation started at 8 o'clock this morning after police got a 911 call. When troopers arrived, they ruled Castillo's death suspicious. And since then, troopers have been busy executing search warrants, collecting evidence, and taking photographs at Castillo's home in Bruce Township. Where we live, sometimes we get a bad rap, you know, people like to say trailer trash and stuff, and we're not. We, we watch out for each other, we take care of each other. And neighbors say Castillo was one of the people always looking out for others. She may have been one of the original residents in this area. Castillo lived alone until her son recently moved in and her son was charged with assaulting her last year. It makes me sad. It, it makes me really sad. Castillo's family is too distraught to go on camera at this time, but describe her as a loving and caring woman. The family is planning funeral arrangements as police work to get to the bottom of what happened to Linda Castillo. And police appear to be wrapping up their investigation here this evening. They do not yet know the cause of death, and they say they will not know until the autopsy on Monday. Now, the mobile park here has created a GoFundMe page. If you'd like to help the family, you can donate. We've got a link to on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.